Hi, I'm Father Ian Paul Lumpig of the Society of St. Paul and I'd like to share to you a story on faith and faith experience here on Faith Matters. A few months after I was ordained a priest, I was invited to celebrate Mass in an orphanage and I noticed one of the orphans, no? a little girl, was looking to me sideways. The second time around, I visited the place, she's doing the same. So I thought something must be wrong on her face. At first, I thought even she had a stiff neck. On my third visit, she was the first to approach me. She hugged me, and after she hugged me, she looked straight into my eyes. And I saw for the first time what was wrong. The right side of the face was burned. After the Mass, I approached the sister and asked what happened to the girl. And she said that when the girl was born, her mother died upon delivery. And the father could not accept the death of his wife, of, his, uh, of the girl's mom. And so, he became a drunkard. He lost focus until one day, I went home drunk. He tried to light a cigarette and for a known reason, no, he caused fire that ultimately burned their house. The father died in the accident, but the little girl survived because she was saved by their neighbors. But as it happened, it burned her face. Now, while listening to the sister's story, so many questions popped up in my head. And one was, isn't it that God is unfair? This little girl has not experienced the love of her mom nor the love of her father, and yet she got burned. What would happen to her in the future? And yet, when I was talking to the sister, she said that when they processed the girl, she admitted she terribly missed her parents. Yet, she was thankful to have neighbors who saved her. I realized that in those moments for the girl, it was not as if God, she was questioning God, but rather for her it was faith experience. Through her neighbors, she was saved. Through her neighbors who risked their lives to save her was indeed a grace from God. Probably now when you experience the same moments of grace, you must not ask God why it happened, or perhaps you must not ask God why these things happened to us. But rather, we must believe and have trust in Him that despite the struggles we encounter in life, the God that we have is a God who has good plans for us. All we need to do is to trust in Him. God bless us all.